This rudimental etude incorporates the five stroke roll, the nine stroke roll, and the paradiddle. So make sure you've spent a good amount of time working up all of those rudiments before we start working on this rudimental etude. Now along with that, we also incorporate some visuals, okay? And I like to use this as my first, uh, first etude that I play in front of my parents, that I have my percussion class play in front of the parents. So this is something that's kind of cool that has some visual elements as well. So, notice that it starts with a five stroke roll. Then, what I'm going to do is a stick click in front of my face. Now, I have my students all lift up their sticks, make an X about chin level, then they're going to play the right stick on top of the left stick. So, I start off with a five, click, click. Just make sure that you don't hit yourself in the face during that stick click. Then, a left handed five stroke roll, and then I'm going to go to the rim. Now, I have my students just push their hands out. Okay? I don't want them turning their hands here because it's difficult to everybody get their, their sticks back in that position. So notice here my hands are still in that proper playing zone. I'm just pushing my sticks up into the X and in here I'm just pushing out. So here's what the first line looks like. Click, click, left, rim, rim. Right hand. Pair a dead do, pair a dead do. Click, rim. Now, the first technical hurdle that a lot of students have to un overcome is that five stroke roll into the paradiddle. And let me demonstrate it. Paradiddle. Okay? Going from the five stroke might be a little bit difficult because we've never put those two together. So you might just have to practice just that for a while. Just over and over, getting used to playing that five and a paradiddle, five and a paradiddle, over and over. That's what I call looping it. So we're doing it in a loop, doing it over and over until everybody's got that nice and solid. The second line is a lot like the first line. Got kind of the same stickings, the same five stroke rolls, the same visual elements, except for the last two measures. And let's take that because there's a little trick involved with that one as well. The last two measures, I start off with two paradiddles but I don't lift all the way up on my second paradiddle because in the last measure, I don't start with a downstroke. I start with a medium height roll. So I'm gonna go pair a diddle, pair a diddle, and only lift up to about half height for my nine stroke roll at the end. So watch how that looks. Pair a diddle, pair a diddle, double, 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 double. That's all there is to it. Now, I'm going to play all the way through the rudimental etude with the quarter note equals 90 using double stroke rolls. If you don't have your double stroke rolls worked up to this speed, you might have to take a little slower tempo. It doesn't really matter how fast we do it as long as we do it well. So here's what it looks like at 90 beats per minute. One, two, three. Double, double tap. Double, double tap. Double, double, pair a diddle, pair a diddle. Right, left, right, left, right, left, double, double, pair, a diddle, pair, a diddle, double, 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 tap. So that last paradiddle is really a downstroke and three taps instead of an upstroke. So there it is. Now you can play it faster if you've got your double strokes worked up, or you can play it with multiple bounces, and this is the way it is on the accompaniment CD. So now I've got my tempo at 100. Listen to what it sounds like with multiple bounces. And there you have it, rudimental etude number two. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so we've covered a lot of stuff in this uh, lesson series on lesson five. Especially difficult are the eighth rests, and you might need to take a lot of time before you've got this uh, lesson worked up perfectly. Make sure that you take the amount of time necessary. The graduation test 
Section one on the next page is basically going to test your skills to see whether or not you've actually mastered everything that you learn in the first five lessons of the book. So take the amount of time that you need on this lesson. Next, we're going to cover graduation test section one.